Hey guys, now that we have to implement the chat fuels JSON API plugin, we need to first have a look at its documentation. So let's have a look at that first. So JSON API documentation, I'll go to this link for the documentation. And now here we have a section called response references. Now what the platform does is whenever the chat fuels platform sees a response of this type, then it renders this response as a particular template. So say for example, if uh, this was the response, then the platform will render this as two text blocks. If it sees a response of this type, then it is going to render an image with a URL of this. Same is the case with the video. So if there is a response of this type, then it is going to render a video with a URL of uh, with a URL that is with the source that is specified by the URL here. And same is the case with the audio and files. Now we also have apart apart from these, we also have some other response types like these, wherein it will render a gallery or in some cases lists, buttons, and some other things of that sort. Now for the scope of this article, we aren't really going to implement an API on our own. We are just going to mock this response that we see here via some, uh, some other service. So what service are we going to use in this case? Well, we are going to use the JSON block service. What this does is it allows us to represent a JSON object and then expose it as an API. What I mean by that is if I go to jsonblock.com slash new or simply click the new button here, then it is going to give me an empty object. Now in here, I can specify say a key of foo and let's say a value of bar. And now if I save this, it is going to generate a URL for me. And this URL will contain this um, custom string here. If I copy this URL, and let's open a new tab and if i place api slash before this um, before this uh, unique id and if i press enter then it is going to open up or it is going to respond back with a json with the same key as foo and the value as bar that was presented here now that we have this we can simply mock this response so if I copy this here and paste it over here, and if I save this, let's just reload this here, and we are going to now get that updated response here. And this is the API that we will be using as a part of the response that was that would be expected from the JSON API plugin and chat fuel. So we'll start with that in the next video.